Today, I'm going to cook the most delicious pulled pork extravaganza, and you can use it in so many different ways. It's going to be brilliant. First up, I went to the butcher's. This is a half shoulder of pork. It's the hand end. I prefer this part of the shoulder because there's different cuts in there and they're different flavours, and it just falls off the bone so beautifully. We've got four carrots. We've got four apples. We've got four onions. And then we're going to use a lovely herb, beautiful sage. It could be rosemary, it could be thyme. And this will become the trivet for this pork. I'm just going to chop the onions in half once I've peeled them like that. I want to keep them quite big because this pork shoulder will cook low and slow for a number of hours. They're going to get caramelised and sweet and delicious. Then the carrots, we'll split them down the middle. Get your apples and just cut them into quarters. Remove that core and there you go. When I'm roasting this pork, I'm doing it for my family. It makes the most amazing roast dinner. It's fantastic for party food. It's also brilliant if you're living on your own. Honestly, I would still do it. You can freeze it and for months to come, you've got the depth of flavour and the deliciousness that you can put to a whole bunch of different recipes. And it will save you a load of money as well because you're stretching a cut of meat a long way. And then we've got sage here, right? So all I'm going to do is grab the stalk like that and then twist it, and it's that simple. Let's get the pork ready to roast. For that, I'm just going to lightly drizzle it with a little olive oil, a couple of tablespoons, the same amount of red wine vinegar. So the vinegar and pork has a very good relationship, right? The, the fat and the acidity and the flavour is a phenomenal thing. We'll hit it hard with black pepper and lovely sea salt and we'll rub this all over the pork. And then there's one spice that I want a hero, and that's nutmeg. So grate that nutmeg in. Smells amazing. Just give it a nice rub all over. So once you've got this all rubbed up nicely, we simply just grab the apples and the carrots and the sage and bung it underneath. While this pork cooks, it will be kind of raining all of its gorgeous juices down on that trivet, and the flavour you'll create will be absolutely phenomenal. So give that a nice little mix-up, and last but not least, a whole bulb of garlic. Leave it in the skin. No work at all, right? As that roasts, it will go creamy and mild and delicious and perfumed. So that's it. Three minutes' work, and then we're going to let the oven do the work. So. Let me just wash my hands. Now, as far as the oven's concerned, I'm going to preheat it to 200 degrees Celsius, which is 400 Fahrenheit, and we'll give it two hours, like two hours to get this beautiful pork shoulder going. And then after two hours, just turn it down to 150 and we'll cook it for three hours. That will guarantee you crispy crackling and the most soft, tender, gorgeous, pullable meat. So now I can do whatever I want. Three minutes' work to put it together and the oven does all the hard work. Brilliant. Hello. Come on, boy. Absolutely outrageous smells of that beautiful pork. It's had five hours of love and care. Not from me, from the oven. <laughs> Look at that! Something special, that is. OK. So let me show you how to take this beautiful piece of pork and create the potential for meals, many meals, for the next month or two. So look, let's just take that crackling there. Whoa! Now that is a pork scratching. <laughs> Crispy and delicious. Get yourself two forks. Very, very simple. Get in there to the shoulder and just pull this off. So look, the only thing that you have to do is just pull the meat off the boat. I've broken most of it up. Right, now we're going to chop it up. Look, the dog's turned up. <laughs> Hello, mate. You know that something's happening. You'll see there is a little bit of fat here. This is not waste. It makes the best, the best roast potatoes. And I'm just going to squeeze the garlic out of its skins. And what you're left behind with is this amazing garlic puree. Oh, the smell is phenomenal. And then get that meat back into this incredible drippings tray. 
What we're going to do is toss the apple and the onion and the carrot and that lovely saginess around this pork. And the flavour will now be off the Richter scale. I haven't tried any yet. I'm holding myself back. And I reckon you could easily feed 15 portions out of that, if not more. So when you talk about, you know, value for money, that's kind of done. Let's have a little wipe down and then flip the board here. Let me just wash my hands. So then we've got this, the biggest crackling I've ever seen. Let's just kind of cut it up into chunks. Yeah, people are going to fight over that. Look at that. Beautiful. What I do now is let that cool down and then I'll bag it up in the freezer. Hey everybody! Where do you want me to sit at the end? Can you make room, buds? Wow, this is lovely. It looks amazing.